Ladies and gentlemen, we've arrived at our main event of the evening. Five rounds of action for the vacant Bellator Light Heavyweight Championship of the world. And the world is watching. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is an MMA specialist and stands six feet, two inches tall. He weighed officially at 204.6 pounds and holds a professional MMA record of 12 wins and two losses. Fighting out of Belfast, Northern Ireland! Carl Moore! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He is a wrestling specialist. And stands six feet three inches tall. He went in officially at 204.6 pounds and has built a record of 17 victories, six defeats, and one no contest. Fighting at the Robertsville, New Jersey, by way of Rockton, Illinois. Corey Overtime Anderson! The referee in charge, Blake Grice. Gentlemen, you know the rules. I do expect a clean fight, obey my commands. Protect yourself at all times. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Good luck, Evo. The fans in Belfast voicing their opinion. What an Main event on deck. Carl Moore in the white trunks, Corey Anderson in the black. A vacant light heavyweight title fight begins now. Southpaw stands for Carl Moore. Anderson starts working the jab early. Busy early, Corey Anderson. You can see Carl Moore just trying to maintain that space between them, see if he can set up that straight left. We'll be expecting a level change here. Anderson walking more around the outside of this cage. He's got to be very cautious here because he's either got to defend a takedown or defend a punch. And when you get trapped against the fence, it takes away your escape route. Disciplined approach here from Anderson. He landed a couple of right hands. Didn't overreach. Little slip on the monster logo. Left hand just misses for Carl Moore. Anderson tries the right hand to the body. Oh, that was a beautiful left hook. I like how Cole Moore's changing the level of his strikes to anticipate Corey Anderson coming into the pocket slightly lower down. Yeah, I think Carl just needs to weather this first round. Corey said he was going to come out and put the pressure on. Carl needs to get into it and breathe and not get... Oh, another left hand landed. Compromised the balance there for Corey Anderson. Oh, Moore starting to build some momentum here. Another one, this one caught by Anderson, who now switches to a single leg. Moore's got three minutes here, if he can get free. He needs to maintain control of his composure, not get too excited. Keep picking those shots, maybe go to the body now, mix it up. Anderson appears to have recovered, at least from the kick. Right hand and then the takedown here for Corey Anderson. on that overhook. I expect Cole Moore to try and get his right knee underneath him, but Corey Anderson's done a great job of flattening him out.
Two minutes left in round number one. Corey Anderson working on top in the half guard. He's got the far side underhook using the cage to control Carl Moore. Good short range punches here from Corey Anderson. He's now starting to try and pin an arm down here. Carl needs to try and get that left underhook and try and wrestle up this single. So here's the underhook. We can see the underhook poking out here. If he can build up onto his side and get that underhook deeper, that's going to help him get back to his feet. Not going to be able to do it with that. His own bottom leg is elevated on the leg of Corey Anderson, who's laced his right leg through. Here's the underhook. He has to build up to a knee, though, to make that underhook useful. He's going to struggle to sweep half guard here. I think it's important to note in positions like this, Corey Anderson, eight knockout victories, TKO victories in his career. Eight of those, I believe, have come via ground and pound. This is how he gets it done. Carl Moore is going to have to find a way to get back to his feet or get on top. Carl Moore now flat on his back. He looks like he's just decided to try and hold on to Corey Anderson here. Thirty seconds left of a five-round fight. Might not be worth the energy expenditure to try and wrestle up. Butterfly hook goes in. Final ten of round number one. Right hand from the top for Corey Anderson. Corey Anderson in the black trunks, Carl Moore, the Belfast native in the white. Big John McCarthy, Corey Anderson worked through some adversity in round number one, but did he win the round? He absolutely worked through that adversity. That head kick actually stunned him, but all of the work that he did by taking Carl Moore down and all the strikes that he landed, he took that round. I'd give it to Corey Anderson 10-9. Anderson looking to take Moore down again. Same approach, came in behind the right hand this time. Moore initially defends that takedown, eventually surrenders. Oh, trying to explode up. What strength by Colin Moore. Back to his feet. Anderson hanging heavy on the head. It switches to this high single. And again, just chain wrestling. Morno making Anderson put in the work. Carl did a good job of staying on his feet. Oh, that guillotine looks like it tightened up on that turn. Good work by Corey Anderson to pop his head out. More significantly, I think, Dan, is the fact that Corey Anderson just expended a huge amount of energy and did not end up on the ground on top. That's a very, very good point. A confidence booster for Carl Moore, for sure. 90 seconds gone in this second round. Carl Moore with the wrist control here. <clears throat> treatment two weeks ago so he's got extra motivation tonight. You want to stay there, we gotta work, let's go. Here we go again with the wrist control. Doing a good job just jamming that right arm of Corey Anderson. Controlling the wrist, not allowing him to level change, not allowing him to strike with it. I think with some fast feet Cole Moore could get himself off the fence here. He's gonna need to move towards the referee social. That's a look inside the red corner of Corey Anderson, Ricardo Almeida, Frankie Edgar, Nick Catone, an all-star cast, so to speak. 
Anderson working hard to try and get this takedown. Moore conceding nothing. That really is a powerhouse corner team to have behind you. Mark Henry in there as well, trainer of champions. The danger is that Colmore is going to get drained in this position just defending and then when he does find space to strike he's not going to have the energy to do it. Again, the last time if you want to stay there, advance the fight. Yeah, he's carrying Corey's weight and Corey's a big guy. Carl's going to have to try and get into the center of the cage. Doing a really good job of making Corey work hard in these positions. And the referee's going to separate them. Here we go. Back to the center of this Bellator cage. With a minute left in round two. Carl Moore trying to work the left hand. That time it was Corey Anderson with the right. And the left from Corey Anderson. More striking success in round two here. He needs to get off the fence here. Head outside single. Back on the wrist control. Corey Anderson in on that single leg, trying to high crotch. Good balance, good take down offense here from Carl Moore. Wrist control still causing Corey a lot of problems here in front of us in the commentary booth. Cole standing very tall though here, he needs to be cautious, he doesn't get dragged along the fence, there it is. Little clock turn there is going to destabilize his base. Final 10 seconds of round number two, two of a possible five in the books here in Belfast. I, I like that, that was a good call by the referee, just pull him in, like don't make me break you up, keep the fight moving. Moore once again in his southpaw stance, Corey Anderson orthodox. Carl Moore surprisingly very fresh in the corner. Oh! There's that high kick again. This time caught by Corey Anderson. He drives Moore all the way down to the half guard. Can he instigate a scramble here? Can he dig that left arm? Get that underhook when this space. Corey does a good job of keeping the right Hip tight so Carl can't get that left leg in. So now he's recovered guardly, and this is where his grappling comes into play. Arm bars, triangles. Yeah, Carl can, can pull off submissions off his back if he can try and tie up the arms. He's going to shoot for an arm bar here. It's a good strike from top position by Corey Anderson there. Forearm across the throat as well. Very claustrophobic. And now Carl's got to use the fence to get up here. I know he's got his guard closed and he's got an overhook. He may potentially feel like he can threaten, but the space is very, very tight up against the fence here. If he does attack and space is created, I would rather see him use it to scramble back to his feet. Yeah, the key is just gonna make it more difficult for him to get his hips under for an arm bar or a triangle. It's easier, you can see Corey Anderson tracking his hips very well here. Corey's going to try and wedge him in here, so he's constantly keeping constantly keeping his hips. Ah, uh, nice work! There's the eye bars! Moore wrenching on the arm of Corey Anderson, who wow. flips himself up and over, gets out of that one. What a moment in this fight for Carl Moore. And now Corey Anderson back to work on top. Scary moment there for Corey Anderson. He was fortunate, actually, they were against the fence because that allowed him to scramble and get back to top position. Great to see Cole Moore be able to work from his back, though. Yeah, Carl is dangerous from anywhere. Round three, halfway gone here in Belfast. Stop, stop, stop. That's a good call by the referee. Big John McCarthy, what is Blake Rice telling Corey Anderson here? 
you're allowed to use your head to actually you know use position but you can't use it as a striking device and Corey's getting very close to it so Blake is right now trying to take that ability from away and not make it to where he has to call a foul smart move by Blake Rice yeah, really good referee in there. I saw that a couple of times in the first round where Curry, he kind of drops his whole body and the head does land. And of course, we've been fortunate so far there hasn't been a clash of heads, but certainly make him aware of that going forward. We've got a, a lot left, a lot of time left in this fight and we don't want any fouls like that. John Moore working his way back up here. Anderson staying heavy on the pressure, but Moore is back to his feet. Will he be able to work off of the cage? So again, with the wrist control for Corey, uh, for uh, um, Cole. John Cavanagh in the corner asked him to try and slide off the fence, peel his head a little bit, see if you can try some of the other things that we use in this position. Corey Anderson's going to constantly be working for this, this position. This is the safest place for him here. Paul Moore needs to use his feet. He needs to get his legs moving. Strong head position here from Corey. He's also got a very tight waist control with his underhook as well. There's a separation. Or immediately gets to work behind the punches. Oh. And he lands. Another left hand sneaks through. These are great shots by Paul Moore. And Moore reaches for the low single. Anderson hanging heavy on the head. One last takedown attempt here. And we head to the championship rounds. Round four set to begin. Corey Anderson, Carl Moore, winner of this, will wear Bellator light heavyweight gold. Championship rounds in Belfast. And Carl Moore looks like he's in incredible condition. Wasn't breathing heavy between rounds. Still looks like he's fresh, he's got his wits about him. He's twitchy, he's picking his shots, beautiful left hand again. Given the grinding nature of this fight, I'm impressed with the gas tank on both individuals at this point. I mean, it's not easy to move 200 and probably 20 pounds on fight day around for this long and still be bouncing. Big John, we saw, you know, the grinding pressure from Corey Anderson and then those flash moments from Carl Moore at the end and, of course, in the arm bar. But that was Anderson's round. Yeah, it happened as Corey Anderson's round, even though it's darn close when you get into those permission factors. It just wasn't all long enough, and was it just didn't have enough to say that was the submission that was going to stop the fight. So, yeah, I have it with Corey Anderson winning that 10-9. But Carl Moore has done an amazing job for using all the energy as he is in incredible shape because we all know Corey Anderson can go forever. Anderson back on top after another takedown here. Familiar position. This time he's in front of his own corner. The opposite was true in the last round. He had Carl Moore in front of John Cavanaugh and Will Fleury. We'll see if the Anderson corner can coach him to a finish. Carl's doing the right thing. He's trying to get, work for that underhook and create space, but... Corey's doing such a good job of getting dropping that right hip and making sure there's no space for the leg to get in. Keep your right hand on the floor to give you power. Straight the 91. Straight the on him. Yes! Right hand down so you can push. Stop hugging his hip. Circle right so you can keep it Yes! Yes! Corner asking for Corey Anderson to give himself some more space, create more power on the ground and pound. Easier said than done when any time he gives Carl Moore an inch, Moore starts to advance position with this underhook. Oh! What an experience.
explosion. Great Beautiful. work by Carl Moore. Beautiful work with the butterfly hook. Really top level jiu-jitsu. It's so difficult against an oppressive wrestler like, like Corey Anderson to be able to elevate him in any way like that. Yeah, totally. I uh, choose Carl. He, he's got beautiful jiu-jitsu. But this is where he's going to have success. Charging forward is Carl Moore trying to make something happen here and not give Corey Anderson any sort of rest. He keeps finding a home for that straight left, though. And now he's got Anderson reaching down for that leg. There's the jab from Corey Anderson. He's going to have to set it up against Carl Moore. Again, behind the strikes and down on the hips. And Anderson, one more time, wrestles Carl Moore to the mat. Good side control position now for Corey Anderson. He's past the legs. There's less danger from submissions, but it is easier to scramble from this position. 90 seconds left. Expect Cole Moore to dig that underhook. That right arm is going to dig into that armpit. That will allow him to scramble. Cole Moore is talking to Corey Anderson. I don't know what he's saying, but it's full conversation happening. Good shoulder pressure here from Corey as well. And what a scramble again. He's down. Anderson trying to grab this cradle. Stays heavy on the head. Back to a leg. Head outside single. He'll spin it around. Trying to run this pipe. Oh, Moore doesn't give it up. Thirty seconds. Will Flurry in the corner of Cole Moore, telling him to move, telling him he's got to do something, he's got to go. Ten more seconds in this fourth round. Corey Anderson imposing his will on Carl Moore with the wrestling pressure. Pressure's on. Last five minutes. Trying to pop him with the cross and then come back with the right hook. Trying to catch Corey on the, on the swing. As yeah, Corey's slipping. Oh, that was nice again. This is what Carl needs to do. He needs to try and keep his back off the cage. Oh, nasty right hand from Anderson, though. He's rocked. Had Carl on the back foot. And now, once again, takes down Carl Moore. Open to cut, I think, with that right hand as well. Corey's got some, uh, um, Cole's got some space here to start isolating and attacking Corey's arms. You can see he's got the overhook. He's got to get his hips out to the side, though, like he's trying to now. Butterfly hook goes in for, for uh, Carl Moore. You can see that butterfly poking through the legs. Can he use it to sweep again like he did in the last round? Great work by Carl. Moore just elevates his back on the cage and stands up. Corey Anderson staying heavy with this pressure. It's been a winning recipe for him so far in this fight. Big John, does Carl Moore need a finish here in round number five? There's no doubt in my mind. Carl Moore needs to get it everything he has. He has to get a finish. Even a 10-8 round is not going to do it. So right now, Carl Moore is showing, man, I'm here to fight. I want that championship, but I do believe he needs to finish. Anderson staying disciplined with his defense, rewarding himself with a couple of right hands landing as Moore has to get a little bit more desperate with the striking. Still very dangerous because of that right there. It's landed several times in this fight. The high kick. Driving 
comes through with another takedown, Corey Anderson. Half a round left to work for Carl Moore if he wants to taste a championship moment after this fight is over. Great shoulder pressure here from Corey Anderson. Look how he's turning the face of Carl Moore. Can he use this half guard? Can he create a scramble in these last two minutes? Give himself one more opportunity, perhaps. trying to do right now is he's trying to without taking points he's taking him out of the position because he feels that Corey Anderson is using his head in a way that it's being a striking instrument so right now he's actually trying to punish Corey without taking points thank you Big John Carl Moore now with a little bit of a flurry here Moore recognizing the situation he's in Got to stay off the fence. He's got it. There he is again. Just over a minute to go. Can he get space? Corey Anderson might be seeing the finish line in sight here. An illustrious career for Corey Anderson. He won season 19 of the ultimate fighter he had a successful run in the ufc before coming to bellator he's beat some of the best came up just short in a previous championship bid against nemkov first was the head clash then the contest and then the nemkov victory and now 30 seconds away if he can survive here the final onslaught from carl moore in front of the home crowd will wrestle his way out of it. A valiant effort from Carl Moore, but the wrestling of Corey Anderson, the former Division III All-American, is just too much for the Irishman in Belfast. What a fantastic battle this has been over 25 minutes. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. The judges score this pack 49, 46, 49, 46, and 50, 45. All for your winner. And new Bellator light heavyweight champion of the world, Corey Anderson. Corey Anderson, light heavyweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner the new light heavyweight champion of the world. Just let that sink in for a moment, my friend. I know this has been a long journey to get some gold around your waist like this. What's the first feeling coming out of that victory? I mean, first feeling we're getting the belt was, yes, sir, we finally did it. Mama, we made it, we didn't quit, we got here. Frankie Edgar, Nick Atone, Ricardo Omega, Mark Henry. Been with you guys since Tough 19, and you guys believed in me before I believed in myself. But in the second feeling, like, I'm glad I got it. I want to put on a better performance. But I thank the Lord for letting me get here and get this belt, achieve my goal. And the team, and my family, my wife, my parents, my best friend, Frankie Perez, that made it out here just to work out with me in the back. It's a true blessing. And I'm eternally grateful for everybody. So you're now the guy with the targets on his back. Does that change things for you? Does that change the way that you prepare now? Now you're the defending champion. Everyone's coming for you. No, now we work even harder because everybody's working for me. Before it was everybody's working for one guy, and I was one of those everybody's looking to get to the champ. Fight of Vadim Mifkov, Ryan Brady, whoever had the belt at whatever division I was fighting. But now I'm that guy. So, I mean, we got to turn it up. I already train harder than ever. Like four or five training sessions, leave the house at dark, come home at dark, go to sleep, wake up at dark, and do it again. But I'm just not satisfied, you know? We got it, but overtime is not satisfied. That's satisfied. We got more work to do and more names to beat. Congratulations, my friend. That was a spectacular performance. Ladies and gentlemen, your champion, Corey Anderson.
Let's have a word with Carl. Make some noise for Carl Moore, ladies and gentlemen, your own. <laughs> Carl, first of all, how, how do you have such incredible conditioning for a, for a light heavyweight to go through that arduous battle for 25 minutes? You've still got a smile on your face. Tell me how you're feeling. Hard work, Dan. Uh, this, like I said, this is 13 years of hard work. I've busted my balls every day in the gym. I knew this was coming, and I knew he was going to have a great gas tank, and I think I had a better gas tank, but I just couldn't stop his wrestling. Fair play to him. He fought the perfect fight to beat me, and well done. It's disgusting, disgusting, but I'm glad Corey got the belt. Couldn't help the nature guy. He deserves it. And now he's got the belt, the target's on his back, so you can chase him a little bit longer, right? Oh, I'm coming back. He knows that, that's what I say to him. I'm coming back, that's my first crack at the belt. That was his third crack, so after that performance, I didn't win, but I think that shows I'm here to stay. I belong in the top echelon of the best in heavyweights in the world, and I think it showed that. I agree, my friend, congratulations. That was a hell of a performance. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, call more.